So I want to give you guys an update of our chickens because we haven't done that in a while other than when we lost the two. What I want to say is that since that one rooster was killed and I found it underneath there, they haven't been sleep sleeping in here because normally uh, about a third to half the flock sleeps up there, maybe one over there, and then the rest... all sleep up well let me get a better angle the rest all sleep along this some on this beam and then like four up three or four up there so um it's just been interesting because some of the older birds have always slept in inside the building even though um, a lot of the younger birds have been out here, and now they're just all sleeping out here, which is fine, because they're doing what they naturally do, which is perch at night. And yes, doing this this way, I have cracked a few eggs before, but... Not many. Hey Cloud Hoppers, how you doing today? Just wanted to, uh, as I said earlier, give you an update on the chickens. Um, I also want to talk about how we've been really impressed with their eggs right lately. Uh, especially this past two weeks, we've been getting about 11 to 13 eggs a day, which is a lot um, since Simber and I have been married and have had chickens. We have never had quite that many even uh, When we've had this many hens is just We just haven't been getting that many and so Usually our Our amount that we've been getting is like six to eight at, uh, When it's in peak sea, uh, peak time, but they've already started and today being the first day of spring, they've been laying 11 to 13 eggs, as I said. And it's just uh, I think it's because we've changed their feed a little. Um, we still use the same um, crumble that we've been using, but we changed the chicken scratch from um, within. It's still the same product, uh, same brand. So it's Cal uh, the Cowtown brand, but it's a. Um, it's a protein, it's a more protein based um, and calcium based chicken scratch. So it has 14.5% uh, uh, crude protein in it, um, which I think the other one had about 14, 13 or 14, but it didn't have quite as much calcium, which it's between, not, uh, between 0.9 and 1.4% uh, calcium within the within the feed it also has a higher um crude fat content i do believe sorry i'm looking at the label while i'm trying to tell you this yeah the the fat is at uh 4.25 percent which again is a lot more than what the other one had so i think in those three elements right there have made our chicken eggs um a lot better not only are they still big size, um, but they're also, um, their shells are also a lot harder than they had been, which I'm glad because then it makes it to where you just barely tap it and it's not just cracking open. You have to kind of um, tap it quite a few times to get the indention going before you can pop it open, which I'll show you here in a second. Okay. That's not, not normally to hold eggs, it's to put a lid on this. Um, this thing is a little egg cooker that you put. You can use in the microwave. So if you want something real quick, if you like say uh, you need to go and you wake up and you're running late and you just need a little quick uh, something to eat before you, before you leave, that um, this is a good little tool to have. We try not to do these all that often um, just because we don't want to microwave as much stuff, but um, it is a nice little tool to have if you're wanting something quick. I'm going to do this for um, our lunch today. I'm going to uh, make eggs in this. And uh, Malachi loves them that way. 
and so I'm I'm also wanting to show you how tough the uh, shell is on on these eggs because of that new feed so. So these eggshells are a little bit thicker than what the other ones were, um, if you can tell. I did this brown one first so you can see how the inside eggshell, how thick that wall is. The other ones we, we had when we were using the previous feed wasn't quite as thick as this. So I'm, as I said, I'm real happy with that feed that we've been, uh, that we've been using. So. That is something you don't want to do. You don't want to drop your eggshell into your thing. So, <laughs> like to show you things to do and also things not to do. And then I'm just going to use a little whisk to beat them together. Now the nice thing about these is you can sometimes put things in it so like if you uh, want it kind of more like an omelet uh, you can so sometimes we'll chop up some per, uh, pepperoni or uh, salami and put it in sometimes we'll do ham uh, we'll put some uh, tree collards in occasionally so it's just again a nice little tool to have And yes, this bowl is hot. Um, handles not, but the bowl is. So what I usually do with Malachi's eggs when we do it in this is I'll break it up in here and put it on a plate to let it cool. Sometimes I'll give this with uh, fruit and um, vegetables, maybe a graham cracker. Um, sometimes I'll give them, uh, for a little bit extra protein, I'll give them a pepperoni or, or two. This will be part of his meal, and I'll make one for me later. So, Are you ready to eat lunch? Hey Malachi, do you have your two favorite stuffed animals? No. <laughs> yes you do, you know you love those two. <laughs> but also it's I think helping with how many eggs are being produced within our chickens so that we're getting more eggs per day because of it. Um, now someone at our feed store did suggest maybe switching our our chicken crumble to a different one but i'm kind of happy with the way our thing our chickens are going right now so we'll probably just stick with this um this mixture it's still the same mixture that i showed you before in previous video on how we feed our chick or our animals which i'll link up there and i just wanted to again just let you guys know how how our chickens are doing because we haven't really done too many chicken videos lately uh, we've been doing more rabbits and more gardening projects lately. So, you clod hoppers have a blessed day, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, Malachi. Look at me.
Hey Malachi, can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Hoppers, thanks for watching the video. Push the thumbs up to like the video. Also, hit that subscribe button, also the bell, so that you can get notifications when our videos come out. Check us out on our social media pages too. We have Facebook and Pinterest, and soon we'll have Instagram. The links are below. Bye, y'all. Bye. Good job. Hmm.